I want to ask you about cybersecurity. Palantir obviously has incredible relationships uh, across the world with governments, and you've done a lot of work on cybersecurity. Talk to us about how significant an issue this is, where the bad actors are, what can we do to protect ourselves in this new world where we feel like everyone's getting hacked and data has become so much more powerful. Well, there's, uh, there's a tremendous amount that we can do in, um, in combining um, 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 computers with, with humans. And uh, the, um, you know, the, the, a lot of the approaches in, um, in crime, defense, areas like this, in, in security, have been that we either have all human solutions or all uh, computer solutions. And, um, and I think the truth is that, um, that uh, there's a lot to be uh, done with these intermediate hybrid solutions. And what we did at PayPal and what we've done at Palantir is figure out a good division of labor between human analysts and automated uh, computer systems. And it turns out that if you get the division of labor right, you can do a lot. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, when we had fraud at PayPal, it's going back uh, a while, um, we had a human team, and it was like looking for needles in a haystack, millions of transactions, couldn't possibly figure out which ones were fraudulent. The all computer model didn't work either because the fraud patterns would change and the computer wouldn't actually, wouldn't, wouldn't really figure out the new ones. It was when we figured out a way to divide the labor between the human investigators and the automated uh, computer part that you really got a handle on it. And so I think this hybrid human computer synergy um, theme is, is, under, is underrated because we either want total automation or no computers at all. And, uh, and I think the in-between in thing uh, needs to be explored a lot more. And that's, that's what Palantir, among others, has, has done. Are the bad actors trying to hack information an obvious group? Where, where are they? Well, I don't think I don't think it's a I don't think it's an obvious group. We would have obvious we would have probably uh, probably tracked them down. One of the challenges with cybersecurity is um, that it's um, there is something about it where it's uh, where it's very asymmetric. That um, you know, uh, in most forms of um, defense, military technologies, um, the defense side is is pretty good, um, but in in cybersecurity. Um, very, it's very hard to defend. It's very easy to attack. And so if you have something where it's incredibly easy to attack, incredibly hard to defend, um, that creates some, some very unusual challenges. And I think, uh, I think we haven't quite figured out what to do about them. Uh, we certainly um, are not able to defend as well as we can. Uh, we're not willing to take the precautions that are needed. And, um, and it, it, it really calls out for uh, some, some, some big um, a lot more work in the decade ahead. You've been but I think people's intuitions are shaped by, by the, their everyday experience where there's more of a balance between attack and defense. In the world of cyber, there's no balance at all. It's, attack is super easy, defense is super hard.